because apparently there is a ghoul out there who's not quite a foul mouth. <laughs> Get back behind that. You she's wrecked that. She's wrecked that. Where could she be? There is a, there Has is anyone a, seen her? A ghoul who's got a foul mouth, who's been very rude to tourists, telling them quite frankly, where they can go. Yes, our very own <laughs> ghost buster, Josie Gibson, is in Quantock Hills near Bridgewater in Somerset. Where is she? I don't where know where she be? could be. Josie, are you no, there? I, yeah. <laughs> you can come out. <laughs> Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Holly. I'm down in the Quantock Hills of Somerset on the hunt for a very naughty ghoul because, quite frankly, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Do you like my outfit? I do. As they say in the ghost busting business, if you've got it, haunt it. <laughs> now, all joking aside, I am down here investigating some serious paranormal activity. And I'll tell you what, I haven't had a ride for such a long time. Um, it's about time I got the adrenaline pumping, actually. So, here we are. Tuck me in, boys, tuck me in. I don't, do you know what? Since I've had a baby, I'm scared of everything, absolutely everything. And it's very important that I wear my mask, but um, believe me, I've got a bone to pick with you guys. I really have. So, oh, my tummy's going already. Andy, is there any way I can pull out or not? <laughs> yep, off we go. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Please help me. It's really long, isn't it? <laughs> I quit! I quit! <laughs> I've had so many makeup fails. Have you got any tips for me? You've had makeup fails? Oh, Tell hundreds. Me. I did my makeup in the back of a taxi. In the dark. It made headline news. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. I'm Googling it. <laughs> If you do do your makeup in the back of a taxi, it should be like a blusher or something that you've used like a hundred times before and you know yeah. that it's going to look okay. Yeah. Right, Johnny McFadden, I think it's time to pour the Bristol girl a proper job. You want a pint? A pint? Johnny McFadden, women do not drink pints. My Come nan on. would kill me if you pour me a pint. Women drink halves. I thought a Bristol girl would have had a pint. Oh, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to pour myself a proper job, but as you can see, this electric fence is working its magic. Thank you so much, you're Johnny more than McFadden. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Josie, you... Josie, you're so formal now. I love it, Johnny McFadden. He's got to get the full name. This yeah. is a superstar. I like well... it. I like it. Respect where it's you, due. You, can... you can't meet some. You can't meet someone called Johnny McFadden without saying her last name as well. Yeah. It's one of those names, isn't it? There's a lot of syllables. That's the enjoyment in getting all the syllables out. Right. right. There you go. go. On. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Let's see the don't it's not yourself. too early. Let's... It's not too early. Go on, girl. I'll have a half. <laughs> no! Oh, I thought that she was going a proper job. I thought she, she was going like the whole hog there. Follow me, follow me. This is the new Love Island bedroom. Oh, wow. Just look at this. I love the colour. Interior is lovely. And this, this is where me and my boyfriend are going to do all that cuddling, if you know what I mean. Look at all these stairs. Stairway to heaven, baby. Come on. I feel like we need some, like, Mission Impossible music here. No mission too tough for Josie. <laughs> uh, we've sent her to Devon to find the there mystery bagpipe, but that's what I wanted <laughs> to say. There's your Mission Impossible music. Who keeps waking up local residents. Oh, Josie. <laughs> what do you call that dance? I, it doesn't yeah. have a name. Scottish Highland Jig. Oh, <laughs> is it <laughs> I, it, it? I'm going to have to consult the textbook, but I think you're, it. yours has you been do, slightly yeah, interpreted. Just don't stop. We love it. Don't stop. <laughs> we'll, see you, we'll see you at 12.30. Just keep it up, Josie. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> She's really good at that, that, by the way. Love that. Right, they've promised me, not like Blackpool, that this ride will not go. So, Ooh. how are you? Oh, I'm good, thanks. Um, good. Yeah, looking forward to this. Karen. What is different about this ride? Okay, so we do need to wear face covering, so I see you've got yours on, so let's right. put it on just in case okay. we're ready. Hold on, why are they putting this down? Oh, don't worry. No. You can't come you to 11 without going on a ride. They promised this, we're not going anywhere, are we? 
well, you can't come They promised. Here. I said to them, how is this life going to be? They said it's going to be smooth sailing. <laughs> you better not start this ride. Karen, I know they're going to do it to me. I know they're going to do it. <laughs> so, Karen, you're operating... Oh, no! <laughs> you're operating at a third percent capacity. Yes. How are you going to protect the public safety? Oh! So all of our guests are going to have to pre book. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. Um, before they get here, and um, we've got social distancing markers. <laughs> <laughs> we've got um, extra cleaning. It's yes. going to be perfect. You don't understand. I didn't sleep last night knowing that you were here. You look absolutely knockout. Absolutely knockout. I try. You know what I mean? A pop of color, yeah. little Gucci boot. You know Ooh. what I mean? You gotta get the Gucci boot. You know what I mean? <laughs> for me, I have this nice long train for the carpet, but then I it detaches and I have a shorter one to put on so that way I don't trip myself and everyone else all night. My dad, when I left, he's like, took a jacket with you and I'm like you don't like my dress do you and he's like no I don't like it when you show cleavage I was like oh dad come on <laughs> ITV this morning I just got completely pied off by Donatella Versace Caitlin ITV Sharon I'll see you on the dance floor see you on the dance floor now I'm just gonna ask you this because I I'm I, I, just, just for an outfit point of view, did you? It, you've got a little split there. Did that happen? Was that was sort of some overzealous ghost busting, maybe? Well, what happened? I was um, filling up the car in the petrol station, and I had a little accident, and it it was a bit tight. So, um, <laughs> but we're not going to concentrate on my split for today. We're going to concentrate on this ghost hunting because we're going to track down this I ghoul. Agree. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. You filled up the car dressed like that? <laughs> I think she did. I think well, we, she this did. is the most bizarre start to a show. Oh, look now. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll leave it. Lovely. Okay. So we, okay. I'm, gonna, um, I'm just going to give you back. So uh, we don't have any accidents. I'm taking my uh, talk back off now. Um, because it's a very expensive bit of kit. <laughs> right, thank you, Phil. Thank you, Holly. I'm, I'm leaving you now. So, um, yeah, oh, I know you're expecting me to crash it, but it's not going to happen. Right, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. On that one. Right, on the knees. On the knees. On the knees, facing that way, yeah? That way round. OK. Oh, right, OK. On the knees. All right, I'm going to hold that. Oh! There we are. Right. Watch, on. Watch the kids. Yes, Josie, yes! Josie! Keep going, keep going! Well done, though! After having a baby, it's quite difficult to go on a roller coaster, I can tell you that. Right, okay. Does anybody know where the toilets are? <laughs> Back to you, Davina. Back uh, to you, Phil. Thank you, Take care. Uh, Josie, uh, thank Josie. You. Josie, tomorrow, skydiving. <laughs> No way! No, don't join me. Go and book somebody else. Today we're actually going to be doing the Hollywood secret. What is it? It's the Hollywood butt lift. I'm having a butt lift. You're getting a butt lift today. Oh my gosh! Look, look at her butt. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I've spent my whole life wishing I had a smaller bum, but now, according to Hollywood, I need it bigger and plumper. First, I'm given an anti-cellulite treatment to warm me up. Then, the main event, the suction cups. <laughs> We're actually going to place them nice and high to build that perkier, rounder butt. They said, uh, Josie, you're going for a treatment. We're not gonna tell you what it is, it's a surprise. And now I've got my bottom cheeks being sucked up by two cups in front of millions of viewers on this morning. So, um, yeah, bit of a shock. <laughs>